Hello everyone. Uh, so today we're gonna be doing the uh, that Fischl quest. Uh, I just spoke with Catherine. Apparently there was a message that Fischl left us. So we're just gonna go see her. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Is that Mona I see? Oz looks bigger than usual. How's it going, man? Most loyal attendants of the Princessin. We, we, we already know this. Which one is it? Retainer or attendant? Make up your mind. My apologies. Main Fräulein tends to use exaggerated expressions when she's in good spirits. Hey, Fischl! You were looking for us, right? Sounds like the fun started without us. What's got you in such a good mood? And so, the Whisper of Eternal Night summons you back to my side. Splendid. What a blessed reunion. A boon from beyond the eventide. Come, partake of this joy with me, my subjects. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you again. <laughs> Main Fräulein and I extend to you our most sincere greetings. Paimon wants to say a proper hello too, but Paimon has no idea how to... Uh... Partake. A normal person in the situation would simply say, Hi, Traveler, how have you been? <laughs> the Traveler and I are like intertwined stars in the vast galaxy. You of all people should very well know the fate foretold by this meeting. Precisely. Lady Magistus, please refrain from such unimaginative utterances. Lady M Mag Ma Magister. <laughs> Lady Magistus has long since become a citizen of the Imanakreish. She has been serving as court archmage under one's command for some time now. <clears throat> That's just my surname. Don't mind that. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Oh no, she loves it. You're she loves hanging out with Fischl 100%. To ask you to come, right? Indeed so, my archmage. Did even this appear in thy divination? Why, your powers are truly dangerous. Oh, for the love of... No, of course not. You told me yourself that you'd left a message with Catherine. Ugh, excuse me. Anyway, in my case, she practically beat the door down to get me to come along. Whatever she says, please, don't be too astonished. Ah, uh, don't worry. We've been around the block. <clears throat> you can't phase us. Yep. Oh, faithful servants, one's homeland, the Imanach Reich, which bears the darkest of all fates, draws near to this world once more. Stand with me in anticipation, for the glory of our kingdom is nigh. Uh... We what? Indeed. Only one's most faithful envoys are fortunate enough to be privy to this great revelation. <clears throat> The Imanach Reich is near Mondstadt. No, please. That will be most unnecessary. I know it sounds absurd, but there's actually something behind this, I promise. Basically, what Fischl means is... Oh, Lady Magistus! Ugh, all right, all right. Honestly, look at me. A genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. The truth is that yesterday, Her Highness encountered like the Spark Knight Klee outside of the city. There. Both being of great fame, they recognized one another instantly and began to converse. It was already getting dark, so in that spirit of great compassion and care for which she is known, Her Highness personally accompanied Klee back to Mondstadt. 
On the way, Her Highness relayed to Klee the story of her origins. Upon hearing the tragic tale of the fall of Her Highness's homeworld, the tender-hearted Spark Knight inquired, with tears welling up in her eyes. Oh no, is the Imanach Reich really gone? Won't it grow back? Oh mortal, your sovereign's heart is touched by thy sincerity and sympathy. But nay, the Imanach Reich is an everlasting realm, and one day, it shall make its reappearance. Really? So how do we make your homeland grow back again? Oh, please tell me. Please, please. Oh my god, I'm fucking dying right Since now. Since you inquire so earnestly, <clears throat> give unto me a tranquil please. haven. Promise me eternal admiration. <laughs> Lend me both time and wind, and one shall revive one's home world. Could you cut the reenactments and just get to the point? In short, Klee gave Fischl an island to serve as the promised land where the Imanok crash will appear. I didn't believe it either at first, but then I saw this letter. <clears throat> May the Golden Apple Archipelago be found. Are we going back? Providence has gifted main are, are we actually with going back to the Golden Apple Archipelago? Esteemed traveler, as main Fräulein's cherished retainer, you deserve to bear witness to this grand moment with us. This island looks kind of familiar. Traveler, curtail thy umming and awing at once. The throne of the Imanach Reich calls for me. Come, be my blade. Clear the way and witness what is to come. I... I... I think she just wants to invite you along to the island with her. <laughs> that being said, I have a feeling that I'll be better off not performing any divination where that island's concerned. Huh? Why not? <laughs> Klee is involved in this, which means her mother is probably involved, which means that old hag is involved. <sighs> thanks, but no thanks. Oh, I know who she's talking about. She's talking about, uh... Free and um, her, her, what was her, her master or her, her teacher. You <coughs> who have traveled to the farthest reaches of what, the world. Oh, sorry, what, what shall the, the spark knight of yours do in the palm of your you hand and witness raindrops the, converge and become one with the undercurrent the of destiny? You, yes, you must chart the course that leads the way to the land promised to main Fräulein by fate. Fischl doesn't know the way there. If I rem if I recall, the reason why we the the only way to get to the Golden Apple Archipelago was on Devalin. It was Devalin. He knew where it was. <laughs> um, since thou askest oh my God. for our help, Paimon can tell us you that we are good friends with the Spark Knight Klee, the Guides of Destiny. Come on, just play along. Behold, the watcher, the guide, the weaver of dreams, the traveler. <laughs> oh, excellent, most excellent. I want to die. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> to sum up, <laughs> traveler, since you say you know the way, we'll let you take us to the island. I mean, the promised land. Oh, good, fine, done. Uh, right now, um, Lady Magistus needs to go home to pack her things and catch up on some sleep. Your Highness, your uh, other distinguished selves, let's meet at the city gate at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Very well. Then it is settled. One blesses you with an undisturbed slumber, Lady Magistus. You too, Traveler. Main Fräulein means oh. to say... Good night. See you all tomorrow. About darn time! Good night! Alright. Oh, Paimon's 
accepted. Uh, you all have proper rules. How come Paimon has to be a clock on the wall in the royal palace? Cuckoo! It's 12 o'clock sharp in the Immernoctre. <clears throat> anyway, since those islands are a pretty mind-blowing place, why don't we get some people with mind-boggling ideas to help us out? Kaya's mind works in mysterious ways. But no one in Mondstadt has ideas that boggle the mind quite like... ...a certain somebody who's definitely going to be in the tavern at this hour. Come on, let's go rope him into helping us. Yeah, uh, we kind of need to get to talk to Duvalin anyway, so... <clears throat> Let's go uh, find Venti. Head to Angel Share. <coughs> Jesus. On our way to see the drunkard bar. Watch it, Nimrod. Shouldn't get caught by him. <clears throat> I have no idea who to use. I guess it'll just be this team. W what? I... I can do... Yes, I know you can. Oh my gosh, please. We're here! Tone down by! Benji! Uh, oh! Uh, what are they doing in my <coughs> staff? Whoa, look at that! <laughs> You're really here! Come on! Take a seat and join our delightful conversation. Wow, Traveler Paimon! Speak of the devil, we were literally just talking about you. <laughs> Truly a curious coincidence. Kazuma, Shinyan, what are you doing here in a Mondstadt tavern? And how'd you end up having to share a table with the Tone Deaf Bard? Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> now that's a fun stage name. It seems like you're a pretty well-known singer, fella. Though sadly not a rock and roll singer, or we could perform a duet. So, you all know each other. My newfound friends are my old friend's friends from afar. <laughs> How fantastic. Oh, this is a rare <coughs> opportunity indeed. Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it, uh, the Free Poet Society, or something like that. Yeah. I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazaha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Last month, Beto held a big booze-filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship. And she put me in charge of the music. And that's where I met Kazaha. Although Shinyan can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and original. Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. Oh, you can say that again. In Kazaha's hands, even a leaf becomes an instrument. That makes him an expert among my friends. Starting from Liyue, we passed through Stone Gate and kept going till we came into Mondstadt. Then along the way, we saw this really awesome manor. It was something else. Oh, yeah! We know the one! Our friend owns that place! <laughs> really? Y'all sure have a lot of friends. Well, whoever it is that lives in that fine place must be really loving life, huh? Uh, yes, so. <laughs> yeah. I see Similar why not. souls tend to attract each other. Traveler and Paimon, you must have exceptional taste, just like that friend of yours. Wow, you're too nice. Unlike some people who only ever seem to poke fun at Paimon. <laughs> By the way. Do you know anything about the Iridescence Tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor has it that all seven nations of Tevat are gonna be involved. I don't think I have. Well, 
So far, it's mostly just empty promises. Anyway, it's supposed to be a music festival. The organizer really did a number on me last time. They canceled on me. But I hear that they're still active. I'd love to give the festival another shot. But wouldn't you know it? The plans fell through again. How can they mess up this bad twice in a row? Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. But fear not, weary travelers, for your journey was not in vain. It has, after all, brought you here, to me, to the Temple of Music. Your Temple of Music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't you? A song's gotta have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories with you. <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella. Are all bards like you? I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. <laughs> I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, <clears throat> by extension, the poverty of theirs. And on that note, here is a fantastical tale that is sure to delight you all. <clears throat> Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There, the Dodo King and his people live a blissful existence. When a Dodoko is born, it dives into the water. Some learn to swim. Others are carried away by the waves, all the way to Mondstadt where they befriend the children there. One Dodoko made a new friend in Mondstadt, the little Spark Knight. But the Dodo King did not approve. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. So the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the wind and waves, finally reaching the middle of the ocean. But Dodo King was not there. Dodo King had lied. There was no trial, by fire or interrogation. The little knight's mother, who was a mage, had built an entire summer city there as a gift to her daughter, along with this message. Summer is the season of love. It is the time for freedom and fun. So everyone, please sing, dance, and enjoy yourselves here. Interesting. I now have the urge to visit that island myself. This is the thing about traveling. You can't plan ahead. Better to leave when the mood takes you and go where the heart leads. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. <clears throat> well, there's wine on the table and I have stories to tell. Seems like fate is feeling kind today. Here's to music. Come on, traveler. Don't worry, if you don't like wine, there's juice as well. In that case, I'll have a glass of juice. Hmm. This one. I like the color. Oh no! Kazua! Uh-oh. This fella's drunk. But, uh, wasn't he drinking fruit juice? <laughs> more, 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 <laughs> more, more, please. <laughs> Oops, I think I accidentally placed some fruity cocktails out there. <laughs> My bad. Bruh. <sighs> Seriously? Anyway, guess it's time to talk about business after all that drinking. You came here because you need my help, I presume? Oh, yeah! That's a good point! We didn't come here to drink. <clears throat> Can't be telling what's going on. We're gonna have to go back. Ah, shit. That's pretty impressive, though. He's able to sleep like that? Just, just sitting like that, upright? That's impressive. I can't do that. 
Where, where, where do you go? Benji? Oh, second floor. Hmm, look where we are. Yup. <coughs> I can sense that you're about to tell me something very interesting. Klee gave a special gift from her mother to an adventurer friend? Oh, she's such a kind-hearted child. As I'm sure you've already guessed, that letter is most definitely written by Alice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so. Speaking of, guess which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today? Hmm, Master Jean or Lisa? A mother and daughter. Both with long elf ears and the most amazingly adorable <coughs> personalities. Really? Alice and Klee? Wait, she was here? Fuck. Ding, why can't, ding, ding. <coughs> why can't we see her? The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny night on a vacation, and <coughs> I happened to run into them. As a friendly greeting, the mysterious woman gave me a gift. She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. It's a Dodoko bomb. Minus the fuse, so don't worry. It's not going to explode. Come on, take it. This way we can talk to each other just like this, even when we're apart. It's called a Dodo communication device, and it allows people to stay in touch over vast distances. However, you can't just use it anytime you want, and there's also a limit on the number of times you can use it. That's why it's currently only available to a certain select few. I heard that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> Alice is always full of surprises. She and Klee asked me to tell you. Uh -uh. Please take this with you when you depart for the island. No, wait. The promised land with your friends. And have fun. Don't worry about how to get there. The <coughs> organizers of this vacation <coughs> have made arrangements. Turn right after you exit the city gates, and you'll see I something really that will make you very happy. Alice. I really like do. the two of you are in cahoots over this. <laughs> of course not. Is that really the sort of person you think I am? Traveler, you're my friend. And as your friend, I just want to give you something that'll make you happy. How can you think this of me? Ah, fair enough. The mm -hmm. Toadfist Guard does like to joke around, but he's still one of our best friends. Besides, a vacation sounds great. <laughs> Actually... Kasa and Shinyan seem pretty interested in coming on this trip, too. Let's ask them if they want to join us. Ah, oh, you're back. Poor Kazuha's still out for the count. Seems like he can't handle alcohol so well. Shinyan, do you want to come to the islands with us? Adventure. Can't. Huh? He doesn't want to go anymore. He seemed really interested just a moment ago. Can't miss the adventure. Oh. <laughs> Kazaha might act mature, but deep down he's just another <clears> youngster <throat> eager for new experiences. That must be why he didn't think anything of the fruit juice earlier. Well, all the more reason for you to join the island trip. You know, a lot of people have praised the beautiful scenery there. Even bards. Okay, sounds like a plan. How do we get there? Someone's got it covered, apparently. There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city gate tomorrow morning. We'll wait for you. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Traveler? Oh, yeah. They aren't official yet, do they? Okay, so here's the deal. There's a princess from a faraway land in her retinue who are also coming on this trip. Huh? Uh, Paimon? Don't get me wrong. I'm just asking to make sure. But from the way you're plugging this trip so hard, uh, did the Iridescence Tour folks put you up to this? After all, canceling the Iridescence Tour after people already made the trip that's kind of the same thing as tricking people into going traveling, ain't it? No, trust me, uh, this is real. Why won't anyone believe Paimon? <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Don't worry about that for now. 
You'll all have the chance to get acquainted with each other tomorrow morning. Whether you're a princess, a retainer, a talking raven, a samurai, or a musician, you're all VIP guests of the island on your summer vacation. And that's what counts, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure looking <clears throat> forward to it. <clears throat> yeah, trust me, Xenia. This place is real. Like, we're, we're going somewhere. Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some work to take care of. What? You're serious? The Toad Dev Bard actually has plans to do some work? I promised a young lady with cat ears and a cattail that I'd sing at her tavern to boost business and beat the competition. Oh, Diana. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the competition being this place, which has six-fingered Jose. Aren't you allergic to cats? Yup. <laughs> I can always sing on their roof. She told me that as long as their sales surpass their competitor, there's a whole month's worth of wine in it for me. <laughs> oh, what a fine employment opportunity. Virtually tailor-made for me. So have fun. <laughs> and don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, I feel like this summer is going to be a very interesting one. <clears throat> All right. We have to wait. All right. <clears throat> well, let's uh, let's uh, let's fast forward the time here. Oh wait, wrong one. One's reckoning with fate, as foretold by the night sky. Humiliation suffered in the past, the shame we have carried all these years. One bids you adieu, for today it is time for retribution. Ming Fräulein, if I may be so bold, that final phrase did not sound like one of your own. <laughs> of course it wasn't. I just overheard it from someone in the city. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, thy princessin is merely drawing on the wisest this and courageous tuning, saying bro. she has heard in the land to signify the importance of this day. Hmm, hmm let me see. Oh, it really is someone else's catchphrase. Huh. Well, you're here early. Hi. What have you brought with you? Oh, ahem. <clears throat> Allow Paimon to introduce to you a fabled wandering swordsman of Inazuma and an enchanting musical talent of Liyue. Hey, I'm Shinyan from Liyue. I like rock and roll, sunny days, and good times. <clears throat> you must be the princess Paimon told us about. You sure do look the part. I, I hear you're from a faraway land. It's an honor to be in the company of dignitaries. And this lady over here. My family tells me that only the wisest scholars wear pointed hats like this one. Uh, guessing that applies to you, too? Oh, oh I, I like her. her. She can stay. Oh. Shen Yan, your gift All right. pierces the dark veil of night to arrive at the truth beyond. I am in need of one such as yourself. Very well. You shall be one's musician laureate. She's trying to say thanks. You say all the right things. Um, and the same goes for me, too. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mona, an astrologist. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you, too. Mona is amazing. She can find out everything about you by divination. A princess, an astrologist, and an articulate raven retainer. In the company of giants, my humble self hardly deserves mention. I am Kaidahara Kazuha from Inazuma. It is an honor to meet you all. What ho, Kazuha? Divulge thy epithets and thy vocation. Oh, main Fräulein would like to know where you work and what your field of expertise is. Um, I'm afraid I'm just another wanderer. Straight 
strikes like lightning. Mere mortals. That is also a very true brain. statement. Strikes like what? lightning. Is he really that powerful? Let me take a look. Hi, Kazuha. I'm absolutely delighted to meet a great swordmaster like you. Could we ask you to be our guard while we're on the island? One hereby declares you captain of the royal guard of the Imanaka. Is Mona crushing right now? For even Lady Majestus to praise your skills, you are surely one of rare talent. Okay, Lady Maj. Lady Majig. What? Oh, uh, just <coughs> call me Mona. Stop calling me that weird name. By the way, Lady Magistus, we made <laughs> to the promised land. A legendary great mage gave us a big hint. Come on, everyone. Follow Paimon. And with that note, I'm going to pause right here and we'll continue on in the next video. See you later. Wait. Summertime Odyssey.